Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a fun puzzle that went viral. It is known as the clock, calculator, and light bulb puzzle. I found it to be a particularly interesting problem. I worked it out and I came up with an answer. I then read some articles and watched some videos and their answer matched my answer. But when I shared my answer with the person who sent it to me, they actually said I was wrong. They gave a different explanation and ultimately I agreed with their interpretation. So in order to understand this puzzle, I think it's very important you look at every single detail. So in order to do that, let me just show you the problem line by line. So let me zoom in on the first line and let me tell you, make sure you pay attention to every single detail you see in the puzzle. So this is the first line. I'm now going to scroll to the second line. Again, pay attention to all the details. Let me scroll to the third line. Finally, let me show you the line that you have to evaluate. So now I hope you have looked at every single detail in the problem. So the question is, what is the answer to the clock, calculator, and light bulb puzzle? I thank Milin for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this puzzle. So let's work through this puzzle line by line. Here we have clock plus clock plus clock is equal to 21. But the clocks are not all showing the same time. The first clock is showing 9 o'clock. The second clock is also showing 9 o'clock. And the third clock is showing 3 o'clock. So if we take the value of the clock as the time it's showing, we have 9 plus 9 plus 3. Now 9 plus 9 plus 3 is exactly equal to 21. So it's reasonable that the value of a clock is equal to the value of the time it is showing. Now let's go to the next line. Here we have calculator plus calculator plus calculator is equal to 30. So it's reasonable that each calculator is worth 10. But we also have a detail that each calculator is showing the digits 1, 2, 3, 4. If we take 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, we get exactly 10. So it's reasonable that each calculator's value is equal to the sum of the digits that's showing on the calculator. So we have 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to 30. We now proceed to the third line. So we have light bulb plus light bulb minus light bulb is equal to 15. So it's reasonable that light bulb minus light bulb will cancel out. So it would be reasonable to think the value of a single light bulb is equal to 15. But let's look at the details on the light bulb. So if we zoom in, we will notice that this light bulb has five rays that are emanating from it, and it has three different threads that are showing. So we have the numbers five and three associated with this depiction of a light bulb. So if we zoom back, we have that the value has to be equal to 15. Now we have the numbers five and three, and they combine in a way that five times three is equal to 15. So it seems reasonable that the value of a light bulb is equal to the product of the number of rays and the number of threads. So finally, we need to figure out the value in the last line. Let me just scroll this up to the top. And now let's go through it. We have a clock that's showing nine o'clock. So it is reasonable that its value is equal to nine. Then we have a calculator that is showing the digits one, two, two, and four. The sum of these digits is equal to nine. So it's reasonable that the calculator has a value equal to nine. Now, what about these three light bulbs? If you just thought that each light bulb had a value of 15, that would probably be missing some of the details. In fact, I overlooked some of the details in my first attempt at this puzzle. So let's look at these light bulbs. It will help to zoom in so that we can focus on the details. The top light bulb does have four rays that are emanating from it, but it is only showing three threads. So the value of this light bulb will be equal to four times three, which equals 
12. The bottom two light bulbs are the same. We have four rays at the top and four threads at the bottom. So this will be four times four, which equals 16. The same goes for the other light bulb on the bottom. We have four times four, which equals 16. So now we need to add up all these values to get the value of these three light bulbs combined. So we go ahead and do that. We have 12 plus 16 plus 16, and that is equal to 44. So it is reasonable that the value of this configuration will be equal to 44. So we're almost ready to solve the problem. We have 9 plus 9 times 44. Remember, we have the order of operations, so we have to do multiplication first. 9 times 44 is equal to 396. Finally, we have 9 plus 396, and that gives us an answer of 405. And that's what I believe the correct answer is. What do you think? Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.